What's good, y'all? Uh, topic of today's videos, get rid of your excuses. Straight to the point. I've made excuses before why I couldn't lose weight, why I couldn't eat right, and you know, why I couldn't get to the gym. But you guys, look, straight up, you just you just gotta do it. You just have to do it. It's you gotta stop making any excuses like, oh, I, I couldn't make it to the gym because you know what I'm saying, I, I had to go home and do this and do that. Like when you want to get fit or you want to lose you know lose some weight things like that you just have to make eating healthy and working out a lifestyle that's exactly what it is it's a straight up lifestyle it's it's not oh i'm just going to eat right for a couple weeks and then i'm gonna go back to you know the same thing or whatever like you really have to make it a lifestyle and when, it, when i went on vacation and just picked out the whole time which is for a whole week um that showed me, that was like a wake up call for me, is that it is definitely a lifestyle. It's something you have to, you can't go back to your old ways. Man, I, I gained, I feel like so much weight. I mean, a lot of it was water weight and I'm, they, I'm getting back to where I was before I left right now. But the thing is like, you really have to make, you know, that lifestyle change when it comes to eating healthy and going to the gym. It's just something you have to do. You know what I'm saying? Even if you have to cut out you know, TV shows or whatever. And it's 2015, like you can record a show and watch it later. Maybe watch it on your rest day or shoot, watch it when you just get back from the gym. You don't have to catch the shows at, you know, the time it comes on, bro. We got Hulu, we got Netflix. Well, Netflix is kinda, eh, you know, whatever. It ain't really, whatever. Netflix ain't what it used to be. But uh, like I said, you got Hulu, you got Amazon, dude, you got YouTube. You know, you can get that stuff, you know, and yeah, you're going to have to sacrifice, you know, certain things when you make, you know, the gym part of your lifestyle. And you don't have to go to the extreme of six days a week or whatever, you know, four, maybe five of you trying to be about that life. Yeah, but, you know what I'm saying, you just got to dedicate that time and in the long run, it'll be beneficial for you. But at the same time, too, especially if you're trying to lose weight, I mean, and be healthy, you have to be on a... a I'm not gonna even say a diet, it's just a lifestyle change. Like, just stop making excuses why you can't eat healthy. You can't eat healthy. It's just you choose not to, or you know, oh, I didn't get time to cook. Dude, I cook every day. Like, my girl, she cooks uh, like three days out, four days out, or whatever. Me personally, I like my food a little bit more fresh, so I like to make it and then eat it right away, or make my food that day and then, you know, maybe put it in the fridge or whatever and then have it later, but that's just probably as far as I would go, just making my food. I make that time every day just to make my meals because I like it more fresh. Um, I mean, just, you know, oh, my work schedule's crazy. Like, you know, I don't have the craziest life or the craziest, I'm pretty, there's people out here that have a crazier schedule than me, I understand that. Uh, but real quick, my job is a swing shift job. So I work first shift one week, second shift the next, and then third shift the week after that. And you guys probably ain't gonna know how this works, but I do. I work two weekends a month, but they're 12 hour shifts back to back. And um, and usually for the most part, 90% of the time, or maybe even more, I get, um, I do insanity on the two weekends I have to work because those uh, uh, shifts are 12 hour shifts back to back. So I don't really have a lot of time to get over to the gym, but I still make time to get my workout and I do my cardio, uh, high intensity cardio at home with insanity. You know what I'm saying? So people that really don't have time because they work longer shifts, you could do home workouts. You know, you could do Insanity or you could rock with P90X. You know what I'm saying? It's still something. It's not the gym, but shoot, that may be something you want to do. Maybe you're not a gym person. You want to do Insanity. Insanity is a great cardio, high intensity cardio workout. I highly recommend it. I like mixing it in with my gym stuff. So, you know, you can get that stuff done. There's no excuses why you don't have the time to do it. And like I said, with my schedule swing shift, my body switches every single week to a different shift. So it never gets used to, um, you know, a certain week or a certain schedule. I would love to either be on whatever schedule just so that my body is always on that schedule. But my body always switches. So sometimes it's just tired for no reason. Like right now, I got about six hours of sleep. I'm working third shift this week. And um, I'm just tired. I'm drained right now for some reason. My body is just like, oh man, you know, you don't know when to be asleep or awake or whatever. 
but I'm still about to go to the gym and put this work in. It's just no excuses. It has to get done. If I want to get to where I want to get to, you know what I'm saying, you just, you got to put in the time. So there really shouldn't be um, any excuses. I mean, you got exceptions, you know, times stuff happen, but you know what I'm saying, try to do, do your best to be consistent. And I feel like that's what helped me make my progress today from 300 pounds you know what I'm saying, uh, you know, blob and, you know, fat, all that, you know what I'm saying, like, as it, I didn't make any excuses why I couldn't get to the gym on a regular basis or why I couldn't eat healthy, because you can. Yes, you got to cook your food, like I said, put your uh, TV on record, record it or something like that, I mean, you don't have to sit down and have to watch that, or you just got to cut out certain things, you know, even if you have to cut out social media time, a lot of people spend a lot of time on social media, but, you know, sacrifice some of that stuff so that you can, you know, benefit your future as far as in a, you know, health aspect. So that's all I really had, guys. I just wanted to kind of get that off my chest. Hopefully it, it helps some of you guys. Um, like I said, I got some more stuff coming, guys. So uh, be on the lookout. And uh, thank you guys for uh, supporting me. Peace, y'all.